And joining us is Zafar Bangesh, a director at the Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thought. Mr. Bangesh, welcome. It's good to see you. What's your thoughts here? Why isn't Facebook giving people the um, the freedom of choice, essentially? You know, the freedom or to choose which source they visit, which source they choose to go to for news. Unfortunately, uh, many of these Western platforms have become uh, very restrictive. Uh, they have started to exercise censorship of any opinion that runs uh, contrary to the Western narrative. And of course, the Western media indulges in a lot of lies and pushing uh, the Western government's uh, narrative. And anybody that tries to project an alternative view, which is in fact based on truth, then they become uh, very queasy about it and they begin to shut them down. It's not the first time, uh, you know, that uh, that uh, Facebook has done that. YouTube is, is involved in doing similar censorship. Uh, Press TV is not alone. There are others that have been censored because they present uh, an alternative platform and their policies are very vague. They don't even actually say to you exactly what is it that you have done wrong. They simply say it's against our community standards. And when you ask them, could you please explain to us or give us some indication of what your community standards are, there is no answer from them. So what is it essentially, Mr. Bangesh, that they, Facebook and other social media giants who are based mostly in the United States and other Western countries, what are they afraid of with regards to Press TV's narrative and the narrative of other media outlets? So basically, they are afraid that if people begin to see the truth, then obviously these regimes, the Western regimes, would not be able to get away with their belligerent policies against other countries. See, in the United States, they manipulate public opinion tremendously. Uh, people are uh, shepherded into a particular direction by telling them that they face a threat from external enemies, etc. And therefore, the United States has to deal with them. It needs uh, billions and billions of dollars uh, to spend on their military uh, you know, and on their militaries, they need to wage wars, whether it's in Afghanistan, in Syria, or supporting the Saudis to attack Yemen and other countries. So that false narrative of theirs to justify their wars of aggression, if it is exposed by alternative media platforms, then that obviously terrifies them because the American people begin to understand that uh, what their government is telling them is not true. So that's basically what they are afraid of. They are afraid of truth. And unfortunately, this is something that uh, we need to be uh, prepared for. And I think there is uh, a desperate need that an alternative platform or alternative platforms are established so that the truth can be put out. Well, that's a very good point, uh, Mr. Bangesh. I mean, I'm not on Facebook myself, but uh, the account apparently had or it's had uh, as uh, uh, as is registered there uh, millions of followers. So. You know, many were interested in our narrative, but uh, I, essentially, I guess uh, everyone has their preference when it comes to w where they get their news from. Um, they can seek a variety of uh, sources, not selected or restrictive sources, um, and they can choose which source that uh, they trust the most. But how can they do that when there is this ever increasing amount of censorship? It's exactly. I mean, that's precisely the point. So on the one hand, they claim that they believe in freedom of expression and they target certain countries where, if, for instance, they um, shut down certain uh, points of view, then they target them because these countries or the governments in those countries are opposed to U.S. or Western policies. So they target them. They make a lot of noise about them. But when it comes to their own platforms, they are completely silent. So the, a, a very good case is what's happening uh, with Facebook, with YouTube, and other um, uh, American platforms that are beginning to censor people. I mean, if they really are interested in freedom of expression, then I think they should up, uh, uh, be, be prepared to accept um, multiple narratives that are out there so that the people can decide for themselves. And I think this is also an indication, in, in a sense, I think this is a compliment to Press TV that uh, their narrative was uh, gaining traction that more and more people were coming to it. And so that really scared Facebook to pull the plug on it. So again, I would emphasize the point that it is important 
that we begin to develop alternative platforms to Facebook, YouTube, etc. I can tell you, we ourselves have been have been shut out of these platforms because we present a narrative that does not jive with their uh, narrow self-interest. We we expose their uh, crimes, we expose their belligerent policies, we expose their hypocrisy, and obviously that's something that they are terrified of. But uh, more and more people are actually becoming aware of what Facebook is doing, what YouTube is doing, what these American platforms, social media platforms are doing. But I think uh, the solution to this is, and it has to be, that there are alternative platforms developed so that this kind of narrative can be uh, broadcast and brought to the attention of the people. Very interesting. Mr. Bangesh, thank you very much indeed for that. Zafar Bangesh, the director at the Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thought, joining us out of Toronto.